Hi there, my friend. Welcome back to NordCast Weather School. I'm your friendly neighborhood weatherman, Nor'easter Nick. It is so good to, well, almost see you. In today's episode, we're going to be talking all about this fog, where it comes from, and how it forms. We all know that fog can make things look very scary. Almost like we're in a, in a horror movie. Okay, maybe I'm just being a little dramatic there. It all gets better once you understand exactly how it forms. Now, fog can develop literally anywhere, but there is a very specific list of conditions that need to come together to make it form. First things first, let's focus on the temperature of the air and the water. Notice the difference? The colder air moves across the surface. The second ingredient we need is moisture. This happens when water evaporates into the air and allows for saturation near the surface. As the water evaporates, it warms the layer of air closest to the ground, allowing for a sharp contrast in temperature. As the moisture rises, the water turns into vapor. It looks like steam, and that's your fog. Growing up in a beach town, I have witnessed this kind of fog many, many times, and therefore it is my favorite to talk about. Let's focus on the ocean water temperature, which is going to be much cooler than the temperature of the land. Eventually, a warm, moist air mass is gonna flow across the surface of the ocean, all the while being cooled by the cooler water beneath. As this process happens, that lower level of air starts to get saturated by moisture and you get the development of fog. Now we call this the marine layer and it can absolutely make or break a day at the beach. Now obviously fog can form in areas without bodies of water, so let's take a standard open field for example. When it clears, starry and calm nights sets up shop in your backyard, we see what's called radiational cooling. The heat that is built up during the daytime leaves the ground. As this happens, a thin layer of moisture starts to form underneath drier air. Since moist air doesn't absorb much heat, the air near the surface cools quicker. Moisture slowly rises, allowing for the water to turn into vapor, and fog is created. Have you ever noticed that fog can develop even after rain moves out? That's because as it's raining, a warm layer of air can move in that warms your raindrop but then eventually it cools as it gets closer to the surface and moves through the cooler air and the evaporation process actually starts a little bit sooner than in other circumstances. This creates an area of moist air closer to the ground, which is saturated and the water turns into vapor and fog is created. Hey, can somebody grab me an umbrella? Chances are, if you live in a more mountainous area, you see fog all the time. This happens when cold air in the lower elevations and the valleys begins to ride up the slope of the mountain. As this happens, that air turns colder and eventually you get a thin layer of moisture to develop on that slope that rises up and that will turn into water vapor and fog. It's very important to understand that while fog can't physically hurt you, it is still extremely dangerous to travel in, so always take your time. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you walk away with a clearer understanding of exactly what fog is and how it forms. Until next time, my friend, keep your eye to the skies. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, subscribe to my channel by clicking this button right here. And if you want to learn another lesson from Nordcast Weather School, click this video. You can also follow me on all social media platforms. It's at Nor'easter Nick.